In the glamorous era of the 1970s, a teenage sensation named Selma Evans took the world by storm. While she graced the small screen as Thelma, her charisma and allure transcended the bounds of television, capturing the hearts of viewers both on and off the set. The mere mention of her name would find its place on magazine covers, and photo shoots became her second nature. Thelma was not just a character she embodied intelligence, beauty, and a quick wit that could disarm anyone. Behind this iconic character stood Bernadette Stannis, a talented actress who skillfully intertwined her personal experiences with the role of Thelma, creating a character as genuine as life itself. As the spirited exchanges unfolded on screen, whether bantering with JJ or sharing moments with Michael, Thelma always held her own. In her remarkable journey, she followed the trailblazing path of John Amos and Esther Roll, pioneers of their time who set the stage for a remarkable legacy. Their collective effort brought to life, Good Times, a groundbreaking sitcom that laid the foundation for representing black families in the realm of American television. Bernadette Stannis emerged as a crucial figure in the show's monumental success, etching her name indelibly in the annals of entertainment history. That's why she will never be forgotten. Bernadette Stannis's journey began in the vibrant streets of Brooklyn, New York. Her path led her through the hallowed halls of high school and eventually to the prestigious Juilliard School. At Juilliard, her dreams of becoming a dancer first took flight, but fate had its own choreography in mind. The auditions for the dance program at Juilliard sought ballerinas, and Stannis, undeterred by the initial setback, sought her true calling. Her pivot towards acting led her to acceptance, a pivotal twist that would set the stage for her remarkable career. But even before her ascent to fame, the young Stannis was already charting her course, driven by a passion ignited by her mother's unwavering support. The spark that would later illuminate screens across America found its origins in her participation in the Miss Black America pageant as a teenager. It wasn't a personal quest for the spotlight, rather, it was a response to a dearth of opportunities for young black girls like herself. Her mother, a beacon of wisdom and encouragement, recognized the need for such platforms and sought change. Stannis, with her mother's advocacy and a tenacious spirit, succeeded in ushering in this change. Miss Black Teen America came into existence, opening doors for countless young black women. Stannis, her journey only just beginning, earned the title of Miss Brooklyn and achieved the remarkable feat of finishing as the runner-up in the Miss New York State contest. Little did she know, these were only the first notes in a symphony of accomplishments. The early 70s heralded a quiet revolution in the world of television as CBS and visionary producers conspired to portray the everyday life of a black family. The show they conceived, Good Times, would challenge conventions and, in doing so, make history. In this groundbreaking series, Bernadette Stannis would carve her place in the annals of television. Her selection for the cast marked the beginning of an extraordinary journey. As she embarked on this adventure, she found herself facing an audition with the legendary Norman Lear himself. A pivotal moment, it was here that Stannis, unafraid to embrace authenticity, asked Lear if she could improvise. She recognized that the character she was meant to portray didn't quite speak like she did in real life. Lear, known for his ability to spot raw talent, saw in Stannis a spirited, unconventional Thelma Evans. The willingness to improvise was the catalyst for her transformation into the beloved character. Her mother's joyous announcement that she had secured the role marked a turning point in Stannis's life. The lines of Thelma were a far cry from the mundane greetings of, Hi, Mom, and, Hi. Dad, which Stannis humorously recollects. Her thirst for more profound and meaningful dialogue led to discussions with her on-screen mother, Esther. Thelma's character, like Bernadette herself, was a girl from the projects who aspired to be a virtuous young woman until marriage beckoned. The echoes of her own upbringing resonated in the character, endearing Thelma to audiences as the spirited, feisty, and relatable girl. In the demanding world of television, the responsibilities grew particularly when her co-star, John Amos, was unceremoniously removed from the show after its third season. The pressures of being a black teenager on television, combined with the departure of Esther Roll after the fourth season, presented Stannis with challenges. Her response was resolute and unflinching, understanding the significance of holding the show together. In her own words, she expressed a commitment to doing her part, echoing the sentiments of the departing cast members. Dot. Amidst the storm that followed John Amos's departure from the show, Bernadette Stannis stood resolute, her unwavering passion for her craft undiminished. With a steadfast spirit, she remained close to her Good Times family, 
refusing to let adversity overshadow the bonds they had formed. Good Times, a show that graced television screens for a five-year run from 1974 to 1979, stood as a timeless testament to the changing dynamics of American culture. In the heart of it all was Stannis, an icon who, in many ways, redefined the landscape of television. She humbly referred to herself as the first black female teenager to grace the medium, and in doing so, she became a beacon of inspiration for young black women far and wide. Her character, Thelma, was more than a scripted persona, she embodied intelligence, beauty, and wit, a formidable adversary even in the face of JJ's endless antics. Stannis's popularity transcended the confines of the television screen, captivating the hearts of the viewers who tuned in week after week. Young men, in particular, found themselves spellbound by the charm of Thelma. In her own words, she humorously confessed, I didn't even know I was a sex symbol. As she embarked on nationwide tours, connecting with her audience in a world without social media, she discovered the profound impact she had on those who cherished her character. Thelma, a symbol of an era, left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Bernadette Marriages In the pivotal year of 1974, when Stannis was just 20 years old, she embarked on a journey into matrimony with her high school sweetheart, Thomas Fauvleroy. Their union spanned roughly four years, yet the winds of change were beckoning. By 1978, the series was on the brink of conclusion, and the couple chose separate paths. In the summer of 1978, Jet Magazine provided a platform for Stannis to reflect on their decision. The demands of their budding careers had steered them towards divergent horizons. It was a challenging choice, but sometimes the pursuit of one's aspirations requires brave decisions. Stannis, ever resilient, ventured into the unknown once more, seeking new beginnings. The culmination of, good times, marked an era of change, not only in the world of television but also in Stannis's personal life. While the precise date of her divorce from Darnell Johnson remains shrouded in history's mist, her unwavering spirit paved the way for another chapter. In the early 80s, a new love story began to unfold. This time, it was Terence Red who entered her life. The couple would share the joy of welcoming their daughter, Dr. Ray Vale, into the world. The specifics of their marriage's timeline might elude us, but the love and bonds forged remained undeniable. Yet, life's journey is marked by twists and turns. The love story with Terence Red, too, found its final chapter, and the union dissolved. In the wake of this transition, Stannis discovered a new love, finding herself bound in marriage to Kevin Fontana, her fourth husband. Their love story, which commenced in the early 80s, continues to this day. That's really worth congratulating, isn't it? Following the conclusion of her time on the iconic, Good Times, Bernadette Stannis embarked on a journey that would traverse various paths within the world of entertainment. She graced the screens of numerous TV shows, making guest appearances on well-loved programs such as The Love Boat, What's Happening Now, and The Cosby Show. It was during her stint on The Cosby Show that a new dimension unfolded. Stannis ventured into the realm of behind-the-scenes work. In the year 1992, during an illuminating interview, Stannis revealed her unique experience working directly with Bill Cosby for eight months. This invaluable time allowed her to delve into the art of directing, shedding light on yet another facet of her multifaceted career. Throughout the 80s and 90s, her focus shifted towards the roles of wife and mother, and she predominantly refrained from taking on major television roles after her time on Good Times. However, the pull of acting was undeniable, and from time to time, she returned to the screen. In 1997, she graced the stage once more, reprising her beloved character, Thelma Evans, in an episode of The Wayans Brothers. In between acting engagements, Stannis dedicated herself to the written word, penning books that traversed the spectrum of relationships. One of her works, Situations, One-on-One -on -one Relationships, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, delved into 101 relationship stories, offering advice and presenting various solutions. Stannis's literary endeavors extended to financial wisdom, with her book, Situations, One-on-One -on -one Finances, guiding readers in setting money aside and crafting a solid financial future. Beyond the world of prose, Stannis found solace in the realm of poetry, a passion that inspired her to create a collection of verses dedicated to the men who had supported her throughout her career. The resulting book, For Men Only, resonated with audiences across genders, a testament to her ability to connect through her art. Yet, beneath the glimmering facade of fame lay the contours of personal trials. In one poignant interview, 
Stannis recounted the story of her mother watching an episode of Good Times. The words her mother uttered struck a chord within her, as she didn't recognize her own daughter on the screen. The revelation was profound, igniting a determination within Stannis. She resolved to employ the same face, the same presence, to champion a different cause, Alzheimer's awareness. In her quest to confront this formidable foe, she wrote, directed, and released, The Last Night, A Caregiver's Journey. This book, an intimate chronicle of Stannis' journey as her mother's caregiver during her battle with Alzheimer's disease, bore witness to a deeply personal experience. The tale took an emotional turn when her mother passed away in October of 2011, leaving the book incomplete. Stannis grappled with the challenge of writing without her mother's presence, yet her determination persevered. Her unwavering spirit led her to become an advocate for Alzheimer's awareness. Crisscrossing the nation, delivering speeches to educate and inform the public about the ravages of the disease. Her advocacy led to the creation of the Remembering the Good Science Foundation, a platform aimed at raising awareness and enlightening families about the plight of Alzheimer's patients. Not only is she a talented actress, she is also a woman with a kind heart, helping many people overcome life's adversities. That's really respectful, isn't it? In a delightful turn of events. Stannis's role as a mother transformed into a new chapter as she embraced the title of a grandmother, thanks to her daughter, Model Dior. Meanwhile, her other daughter, Brittany, embarked on her own path, graduating from Hampton University in 2017. Following in her mother's footsteps, Brittany specialized in the noble field of medicine, weaving her own unique story into the tapestry of their family's legacy. Although the bright lights of a role as significant as Thelma may have dimmed, Stannis's passion remained unyielding. Her journey continued, filled with diverse opportunities, television, film, authorship, and advocacy for Alzheimer's disease. Each endeavor showcased a multi-talented artist who never ceased to inspire. The enduring smiles she had brought to audiences week after week remained etched in memory. A remarkable return to the past occurred in 2019 when Stannis participated in the program, Live in Front of a Studio Audience, Good Times. This appearance offered a nostalgic embrace of the beloved series, reminding all of the enduring charm of the characters she brought to life. While her personal life remains somewhat veiled in privacy, it's evident that she currently enjoys the comforts of working from home, savoring the fruits of her labor throughout the years. Her lasting legacy, both in the hearts of her fans and in her assets, continues to shine, with her current financial worth estimated at $6 million, a testament to her enduring influence and success. If you found this video as captivating as we did, please don't forget to hit that like button. Your support means the world to us. Share your thoughts and comments below, and let us know which part of Bernadette Stannis' journey resonated with you the most.